If only it were this quick and easy to get around Malaysia's capital city, Kuala Lumpur. In reality, rush hour looks more like this. CO2 emissions produced by traffic are one of Malaysia's biggest climate killers, but that's all set to change. For example, with this electric scooter. It was developed by the Malaysian company eClimo. They're especially proud of the high-performance batteries they design themselves. The power direct drive on a motor is 6 kilowatt. The batteries that we use is 4 kilowatt hour. This is one of the, the technology breakthroughs that we have achieved so far. Uh, not only comparing in Malaysia, I would say they're comparing to the world. The Malaysian government supports companies that bring eco-friendly products onto the market, like eClimo. The financial aid and tax breaks are supposed to help Malaysia become a greener country. But over the past three and a half years, only 400 scooters have left the factory. At around 3,700 euros, they cost twice as much as conventional models. Our business model right now is to, to, to go for the fleet customers who heavily use uh, two-wheelers. Right now, the biggest is uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, KFC. KFC are using it for home deliveries. There is a police team patrolling using the bikes. And we also have a local council enforcement team going around patrolling the roads. We have not uh, entered the consumer market. So far, it's only for the fleet customers. They're already in use at the Malaysian Ministry of Energy. With support from the GIZ, Germany's International Cooperation and Development Agency, the government wants to promote other green products with an official label to guarantee their green credentials. More than 850 items already carry the Mai Jiao mark. The project is called Malaysia Green Technology and is overseen by the Ministry of Energy. But cost is proving to be an issue. When you go to the, the supermarket, for example, they're looking at how much this costs in comparison of cost. So that is still a challenge there. Uh, so unless uh, we have economies of scale, where we, can, we can produce these green products at scale, then we can reduce the cost. Right now, the government is the main customer for these certified eco products. The government is the biggest purchaser. 15% uh, of the GDP comes from the government. So the government needs to set the directions, uh, set the example with the, the high purchase from the government that will um, stimulate the, the, the market in, in introducing green products and services for private green purchasers. Based on the registrations that we have on the Mai Hijau, uh, we can see that uh, the, the demand is increasing. The demand for, for paints, for example, green paints, green uh, breeding materials. More and more companies want to jump on the eco bandwagon. But are their products worthy of the government's eco label? That's decided here at the renowned Serum Institute in Kuala Lumpur. Every candidate for My Hijau accreditation is put through its paces to make sure the product really is eco-friendly. This detergent is up next. The company claims that this product is biodegradable. So we are going to test on the biodegradability potential according to the OECD test method. The sample is mixed with a bacterial culture. If the sample hasn't dissolved within 28 days, the detergent won't be granted the label. The criteria that have to be fulfilled for the eco-label are tailored to conditions in Malaysia. Not only with respect to health and environmental sustainability, but also with respect to economic feasibility. Different countries have different culture, different requirements and different uh, standard of living. So that is, has to be considered, because otherwise if we set it too high, like Germany, then second or third world country may not be able to, to adapt it. So we have to look into the economic situation of the country and how they can adapt with the, uh, the eco-label. Because eco-label, if we, if we put too high, then nobody can comply and 
nobody can take it up, so it defeats the purpose of having equal level. The next step is to establish uniform ecological standards by region. The German Development Agency is also supporting Malaysia's neighbouring countries, Indonesia, Thailand and the Philippines. Because the more people buy eco-friendly products, the better it is for the environment.